Hi guys, it's Erica. I feel like I haven't filmed in my room in so long, but we're here because I have an amazing new plant that I got to share with you guys. So as you can see, I have some plants here on my little soil uh, bucket. If you watch my videos, I've been mentioning this plant, which is a dragon fruit plant. I recently got this from my friend's house and he just gave me some cuttings. So it's finally time for me to pot them, show you how to get some cuttings out of this plant. And I'm just overall really excited. These cuttings are actually really old. I got them at the beginning of December. So they're like a month old now. And I should not have waited this long to start propagating these. Um, <laughs> As usual, there are two different ways to propagate this plant. One is by soil, one is by water. And this plant here is the healthiest little guy, even though he's a little bit sunburned. But he was propagated in water, and you can see he's got all these crazy roots, okay? I literally just pulled him out of water right now because he needs to be potted. So this has been sitting in water for about a month and it has been sitting in direct sunlight, uh, which is not good, but he feels very solid. And let me show you how my other cuttings feel. So these guys are very flimsy. You can see, hopefully, that they're moving around. I don't know if they're gonna propagate, but I'm still gonna try it. Anyways, so this is how a healthy guy looks, except for this which is sunburn, so they should not be in direct sunlight. But yeah, I'm gonna plant this guy and I'm gonna show you how to get roots on your plant. When these plants grow, they kind of have little segments to them. So this is one segment of a plant and you can see it kind of thins out here, but this plant is cut off flat. And this is how you need your plant to look when you're going to propagate it. And we're going to move these spiky babies over because I do not want to get stabbed. So I'm going to use my biggest plant here. He's a little bit dirty. And I'm going to get a knife. So I have a knife here. And this is where the segment is. So I'm going to cut off about like an inch or two. And really be careful because they have spikes on them. While I was filming this, my audio actually cut out, so I'm just going to tell you what's going on. Uh, right here, I'm letting you know that we don't really need that extra part that we cut off. And then this is how your plant's going to look after you cut it. And that is a calloused over cut that's kind of not really um, focusing. <laughs> and then I'm going to show you here. A comparison to an uncalloused cut so you want to make sure that you are using a calloused over plant in order to put it in soil because otherwise it's just not gonna be that successful and since I had a whole bunch of other cuttings that I got I decided to show you a video of me cutting all of them and it's pretty much the same technique for all of them they would normally be more easy to cut if they were healthier because they're kind of really flimsy so it made it a little bit difficult. I eventually realized that my mic doesn't work so it's not going to be this voiceover the whole time but here is me showing you that I have two calloused over plants that I can put into soil and uh, I refilm this part so we're just gonna skip ahead to the refilming. So my audio cut out without me noticing. <laughs> so I'm kind of refilming this part, but this is how I'm gonna pot these plants. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed you guys how to cut them so that they're ready for propagation. And right now I'm gonna pot this little baby that has roots on it. And I already kind of potted him earlier, but <laughs> took him out of his spot to show you guys. Or I took him out to refilm it. So I have my soil mix here and this soil mix is different than the soil mix I would normally use. Normally I use coca core, but I ran out of coca core and they come in a brick that you need to hydrate and it takes like an hour for that brick to hydrate. So instead I'm just using peat moss, but I do prefer coca core 
by a long shot. So this is peat moss and worm castings, a little bit of worm castings, a lot of orchid bark for drainage and a lot of perlite for drainage. We don't want this plant to be soggy for too long, so we want to include a lot of drainage options. Have this pot on the bottom of this pot because it gets a little bit crazy. <laughs> gets a little bit crazy with the drainage all at the bottom. But like usual, oh, it still came through. We are filling the bottom with some soil. And I'm going to use this as a little plant stand <laughs> because he is a really tall plant and he needs a stake but i don't have a stake at the moment i'm gonna get him one soon but for now i'm just gonna lean him on stuff so i guess i did pot him deep enough for him to stand up on his own but he looks amazing. Ah. So we're going to leave him here for now just in case. The reason that I feel comfortable potting him so deep is because I think that dragon fruits will grow roots all along their body. <laughs> and so I'm not worried about him being too deep because he could probably grow roots up here. I'm not 100% sure if that's true, but that is what I believe I heard yeah <laughs> let me know if i'm wrong about that and if that guy's gonna suffer because i love him and i don't want him to suffer look at him he's absolutely gorgeous so now we're gonna pop my other two plants so for these little guys first of all make sure that your plants are calloused over and i'm gonna put some soil at the bottom of this and there's a lot of drainage holes at the bottom of this pot because this is a plastic pot. And we're going to stick these little babies in here. There we go. <laughs> Don't they look so cute in here? And I'm going to... I'm going to water all of these plants once I'm done filming this video. I think it will be easier to take them outside and use the hose to water them than to try and stick this guy into the sink and water him. So I'm just going to save that to later. But yes, I am going to water them. I just want to talk a little bit about this plant and why I think it's so cool. So first of all, hopefully in a couple of years, <laughs> They're going to be big enough to give me dragon fruits and dragon fruits are very cool fruits. I have actually not tried one. And the the tree that these little cuttings came from is actually really big and it grows outside here in Southern California and it started producing fruits at in in early December. So it had fruits ready to eat in early December and I did not try one. I don't know why, but I should have. Maybe it'll still have fruits for me to try. <laughs> but I think it's very cool that this plant has fruits in early December. Um, I think it's on the same schedule, schedule, or it fruits around the same time as a, a pomegranate tree. If you have a pomegranate tree, that tree and this tree are going to be on the same schedule, giving you fruits at the same time so you can make a dragon fruit and pomegranate fruit bowl not only does this plant give you fruits and during a time of year when your other plants are kind of going to sleep and growing more slowly this guy's going to be giving you fruits not only that but this plant looks absolutely gorgeous which is honestly the real reason that i wanted it so it has <laughs> i'm sorry i'm showing you on this really tiny plant let me find a bigger piece to show you actually it has these beautiful scalloped edges and it does have spikes so be careful because i got stabbed a little bit and this one doesn't have any spikes on anymore because i accidentally knocked them all off but it has these beautiful scalloped edges and it has like a different coloration for the scalloped edges so it's kind of like outlined and i think it looks absolutely gorgeous this is such a pretty plant look at this aesthetic 
Like, are you kidding me? And I just really appreciate this plant. Like, it is... I can't describe it in any other way than it's so pretty. Like, this is such a pretty plant. And I hope you guys, if you don't have one already, are inspired to get one after watching this video. Um, let me know in the comments if you do, because I think it would be so cool for us to learn about dragon fruits together. So these guys do not like direct sunlight. Um, I think that they can get used to direct sunlight, but this guy was in direct sunlight. He was not happy about it when he was sitting in water, so I don't think that these plants appreciate direct sunlight, but they do like bright sunlight. And I'm going to keep this guy in my east-facing window, and I'm going to keep this guy outside on my east-facing porch. The mother plant that these guys come from is living outside in Southern California, so this climate is good for those plants. Uh, we don't really have harsh winters. They would like to be watered when their soil is dry, so after I water these initially, I'm going to wait for their soil to dry before I water them again. Other than that, I don't know much about these plants. I just know that there are so many of these. There's so many different kinds of dragon fruit plants. I think there's a whole entire YouTube channel dedicated just to dragon fruits, which I think is insane because <laughs> I honestly thought there was only one kind of dragon fruit. And I don't know much about them, but I know enough to propagate them. <laughs> and I'm really hoping these guys will grow roots because they have been sitting, cutting, sitting out for a very long time and they should have been potted a long time ago. I am 100% so excited for these plants. If you guys have any dragon fruit tips, please leave them below in the comments. And if you decide to get one of these beauties, because I have seen them at nurseries. I've seen them multiple times at nurseries. So if you pick one up, let me know if you're gonna, I don't know if you're interested in this plant. I just, I just think it's so beautiful and it's such like a nice aesthetic and I feel like this plant is going to be easier to take care of for me than a cactus because I don't know about cacti, but knowing to water a plant whenever the soil dries, I think is so easy. That's already <laughs> what I do for most of my plants. So yeah, it seems like a very easy to plant to take care of so far. Maybe I'll update you guys later saying like, this plant is a nightmare, <laughs> but for now I'm expecting it to be very simple to take care of and I'm really excited to see how it goes so let me know if you got this plant and that is it for today's video I hope it wasn't too rambly I feel like I can talk a long time about plants <laughs> that I'm interested in but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up I would really appreciate that if you want to subscribe to my channel and you're not subscribed already go ahead and hit that button you could also hit the notification bell but i'm not pressuring you like i said thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate you guys watching my videos like thank you guys so much and i will see you next time bye